Hi, I'm Sean from Easy Agile. In this video, we'll explore how to set up a user story map in Jira using Easy Agile user story maps. You can install a free trial of this app from the Atlassian Marketplace. Once installed, Easy Agile user story maps can be found in the project navigation dropdown for every Scrum and Kanban Agile board. Clicking on the story map icon in the project sidebar will load your user story map for your selected board. If your Agile board has already been populated with issues, epics, sprints, or versions, you'll notice that on first load, the story map is pre-populated with that same data. Let's walk through the elements you're seeing on your screen. Lining the top of our user story map is the backbone, which are the epics from our Agile board. These epics will appear left to right in their rank order pulled directly from the Agile board. Each epic represents a customer activity throughout their user journey. For example, a fictitious Teams in Space program may have several activities across its backbone, from book commercial space travel through to onboard space attainment. There will be an epic for each. These epics should appear chronologically in the way our chosen persona would naturally go through our product to achieve their objectives. These epics can be dragged and dropped to update their order in the backbone, and the order of the epics will be updated and reflected on the backlog using JIRA ranking. We can also create new epics to add to our backbone by clicking on the Create Epic button in the top right-hand corner of the story map. new epics will appear at the end of your backbone. They can be dragged and dropped into its desired position, and the epic will also appear on your Agile board's backlog. Beneath each epic on our backbone, we see the user stories that have been linked to that epic using the standard Jira epic link. These stories appear from top to bottom in their rank pulled directly from the Agile board. We can also create new stories linked to the epics in our backbone. To create a new issue on your user story map, hover over any blank space under your chosen epic and click Add New. Clicking New will open the following Quick Create box. Simply inline edit the story summary and hit Enter to continue quickly creating new stories beneath your chosen epic. It's very fast. Your newly created stories will now automatically have their epic link set in Jira and will also be scheduled in the sprint or version swim lane that they were created in. All of the stories you see on your user story map are those that have been linked to an epic. But what about those issues scheduled in your sprints or versions, or simply sitting unscheduled in your backlog that have not yet been linked to an epic? Issues not linked to an epic from your Agile board live in the Issues Without Epics panel. Clicking on the blue backlog icon in the top right of your story map will open this panel. You can search for issues in this panel by keyword, issue key, or quick filters, and multi-select drag and drop them onto your story map. Dragging an existing issue from your Issues Without Epics panel will link the issue to the epic it sits under and schedule the issue into the respective sprint or version depending on which swim lane it was dropped into. You should now have a great framework for your user story map in Jira. In the next video, we'll show you how to split your story map into swim lanes to represent different sprints or releases. Thanks for watching.